Hey everyone, I am Lara. And I am Lorenzo. Today we will be diving deep into the world of highest common factors. And lowest common multiples. Do you remember that a factor is a whole number that divides another whole number exactly, leaving no remainder? For example, the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12, because these numbers divide 12 exactly without leaving a remainder. This is why highest common factors are also called greatest common divisors. With multiples, we do the opposite. Multiples are basically the answers in any set of times tables. Look at the multiples of 3 and 8. All you are doing is skip counting by 8 and 3. Lorenzo, did you see that 24 is a multiple of both 8 and 3 because 8 multiplied by 3 equals 24? This is cool because we can see that. Factors are the numbers you times together to get the multiple. We can then also say that 8 and 3 are 24's factors, along with 1, 2, 4, 6 and 12. That's right. Now that we have covered the basics, it's time to put it all together. First, let's take a look at highest common factors. To give you a practical example, imagine you're planning a party and you want to make sure all your friends get an equal number of popping candy. Finding the highest common factor helps us find the largest number of popping candy that can be given out equally among all your friends. So here's how to work it out. Let's use the numbers 16 and 24. Step 1. List all the factors of each number. 16 has the factors 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. And 24 has the factors 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24. Step 2. Identify the highest factor that is found in both lists. We can see that the factor 1 is in both lists, so is 2 and 4 and 8. But out of those, 8 is the highest number, so 8 is the highest common factor. That wasn't too difficult, right? If you need an extra boost, check out our other video about factors. Let's move on to multiples with Lorenzo. To keep it simple, we are going to find the smallest common multiple for two or more numbers. Let's use the same numbers 16 and 24, and this time find the lowest common multiple, or LCM. There are only three steps. Step 1. List multiples. Step 2. Find common multiples. Step 3. Choose the smallest multiple. To find the multiples of 16, we start with 16 as the first multiple. Then, we times it by 2 to get the second one. To get the third multiple, we times 16 by 3. We continue this to get a sequence of multiples, basically doing the 16 times table. 16's multiples are 16, 32, 48, 64, etc. Now we can do the same for 24. We'll start off with 24 as the first multiple, then multiply by 2 to get the next multiple, which is 48. To get the third one, we multiply by 3 to get 72 and so on. So 24's multiples are 24, 48, 72, 96, etc. The LCM is the lowest multiple that is found in both lists. We can see the lowest multiple that is common to both lists is 48. So we say that the LCM of 16 and 24 is 48. We can stop the list when we have found the lowest common multiple. Let's take a look at another example together before you have a go yourself. This time with the pair 15 and 25. Let's start by practicing and working out the highest common factor. Here are the factors for 15. And for 25. The largest factor they both share is 5, making 5 our HCF. Now, let's check out their LCM. Here are the multiples for 15. And for 25. The smallest number that is in both lists is 75 making 75 our LCM. Now it's your turn. Try to find the HCF and LCM for the pair 24 and 36. Pause the video to work it out. That's right, 12 is the HCF as it's the largest factor they both share. And 72 is the LCM as it's the smallest multiple they both share. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Remember to like this video and subscribe to help us reach 1 million subscribers.